All right, so what we're doing here is we are taste testing, testing. Oh my God, you're so close. We're testing acetate buffers. So in here in beaker A, we have, well, this one's just 10 milliliters of distilled water. In beaker B, we have 16, 6.7 milliliters of acetic acid and then 3.3 milliliters of sodium acetate. And then the rest of them, the um, so ratios the change. And so the last one. Yeah, the ratios right there. Uh, yeah, look at those ratios. And beaker E, we're gonna put pH seven buffer, which Erica is getting 10 milliliters of. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add drops of HCl and measure the pH change. And then afterwards, we'll also add drops of NaOH. Right. To some of them. Yes, okay. Now testing the pH of buffer B. Buffer B, buffer B. All right. Now Kalina is making our um, next batch of solutions were, which were identical to the first one, but instead of adding um, increments of HCl, we're now going to be adding NaOH and recording them on our data table right there. And so that's what we're going to do now, but with a base. Now we've moved on to adding NaOH. What was that, Erica? 5.54. Um, For B? Yes. And so now we're moving on to doing NaOH, adding NaOH to all the buffer solutions. And looking at our data tables, um, the consistent one for acid was C and D to be the best buffer to get a ratio of one. And then for NaOH, it's looking like it's going to be B and C. And so that makes C the consistent buffer solution for both acid and base. So that'll probably be the one that we're going to use for the next part of our lab. Here, Erica is making our buffer solution with ammonium hydroxide. I don't know where they are. Yes, and ammonium chloride. Yep. Okay, guys, here's some funnels here. Thank you, sir. Tell me what we're doing, Kalina. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have our solution of our um, buffer, our buffer solution, which is right there. Down here is our analyte, and then in here we're gonna have HCl as our titrant. And we're gonna add HCl to the analyte and hope that we will you know, get our optimum buffering capacity. Cool. Here's Rana taking pH of the solution after the second drop. The second drop has been put in. So it's reading 9.28, and we're wanting it to read around 9.2, so that's pretty good. We want to keep it around 9.2. So we're gonna keep adding milliliters and see how the pH goes. Um, we finished up with the acid, and we've cleaned all that stuff away, and we had really good data for that. And now we're working on when adding a base to the buffer solution. Yay!